Hunter started for Oakland and went eight full innings and departed in the top of the ninth inning after he gave up a leadoff double to Duke Sims. So Hunter went to eight innings, gave up a run, allowed four hits, walked two and struck out four. Blue worked up to one man in the ninth inning, and that's when Fingers entered the scene. Run drought, though. He hasn't hit a homer since August 13th. Sends that one to deep right field, and it is gone. That's a home run. It, it hit something right over the wall and bounced back in the playing field. But Norm Cash, who hadn't had a homer since August 13th, puts the Tigers ahead one to nothing. And it hits slowly. Jackson's on. Let's watch it again. There's Brinkman starting off the picture. The ball hit on the big hop. Rodriguez charging, giving you the short hop. Now he almost handcuffs Norm Cash with that great arm. Good save by Norman. Three and two delivery coming up. He walked in, and that's what the Tiger pitchers have been warned not to do. Don't let him get on. If it... Just lose that little step or two. Fly ball in the right, K-line coming hard, can't get it, try to decoy, throw to third, Campaneris is in at third base. A high drive in the center field, Northrop's under it, Campaneris will score on this. Alou tagged it first, didn't go, and the game is tied one to one. Strong, I think the man on the mound right here, and you said it before, he's highly underrated. He certainly is going to have to uh, be considered, along with Gaylord Perry from Cleveland. And Lolich. Lolich, of course. It'll be some tough voting. Dion will be in there, maybe. High fly, straightaway, shallow center. Galloping on, Reggie Jackson, he has it. Watch Kubiak again, the replacement for Dick Green and that maneuvering that Dick Williams does, ranging far to his left. Cash hit the ball very sharply in the hole. And he pops up to the infield. Sal Bando wiggling his glove. I have it, and he does. Brown ball to second. They go for one over to first. Double play. There's a long drive into deep left. That ball going back, back. It is a home run for Al Kaline. Kaline has done it again for the Tigers. He carried him on his back the last two weeks, and he's homered here in the 11th as the 20-year veteran. Puts the Tigers out in front, 2-1. to one. And Bando singles to left field, open the 11th. There goes Odom. Hit and run, base hit to left. Odom is up. And he stumbled going into second. He hit the bag. Playoff win. Somebody has to win one today. All right, tennis squares away. Bunts the ball. The play goes to third. In time, over to first. Double play. No, he's safe. He pulled off the bag. They say they pulled. And it's a base hit. Here comes Mike Hegan in the score. The throw goes to third. It gets by. And coming in is Dean Pettis, and the A's win it. The A's win. The base hit by the pitcher Marquez. That scored a tying run. There goes Pettis to third. K-line throw comes in from right field. Skips under Rodriguez. Goes up against the stands. There it is again. This is Hegan, the lead runner, rounding third and scoring. On the pitch hit by Marquez. Charged probably on K-Line's throw. Uh, partly cloudy skies for the most of this morning. And then uh, around noon, uh, mostly overcast skies with blue breaking through in certain areas around the Oakland uh, area. But this ball game will be started with the uh, lights on here. And for the Tigers, it's either a victory today and coming back to Tiger Stadium for the third game on Thursday with a one-on-one -on -one record. And if not, it would be two losses coming back to Tiger Stadium. It would certainly be the Bengals having their backs against the wall. John Blue Moon Odom. 
who's really made some comebacks. He had an elbow operation two years ago. He had bone chips out of his elbow. And trying to stop a robbery last year, he was shot twice. And here he is enjoying a big year, 15 wins and six losses. Born, lives in Macon, Georgia. Here's the Tiger lineup leading off at shortstop will be Dick McAuliffe. Al Kaline's in right field, batting number two. Duke Sims will be catching and hitting third. Duke Sims, they hope he has some left-handed power today. He was red hot at the end of the season. Norm Cash is the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Willie Horton in left field, batting fifth. Jim Northrup in center field, batting sixth. Tony Taylor at second base, hitting seventh. Aurelio Rodriguez has dropped to the number eight spot, batting eighth. And Woody Fryman will be pitching today for Detroit. You know, it's something, Tony, for a pitcher to come back from an elbow operation. He had those bone chips removed in his pitching elbow in December of 1970 at the Mayo Clinic. And he's made it all the way back. He's changed his style of pitching since he came up with the A's. Of course, then they were in Kansas City. He was a very hard thrower. In fact, I was the first pitcher, uh, first hitter he ever threw a ball to in the big leagues in Kansas City. He has an assortment now of different pitches. A sinker ball, throws a real what they call a slop curve that he likes to use a lot. A good slider, he'll come from the side on right-handed hitters on occasion. Dick McAuliffe leading off. He went hitless in five times yesterday. And he sends a slow bounder out to second. The throw is in time. Dick Green throws him out. And McAuliffe, first ball hitting, one down. Al Kaline, nearly the hero yesterday, but one out on the 11th. He hit a home run to left field. Then it was his throw that led to the A's win, but it was a good throw right over the bag. One of those tough plays where the ball and the man arrive at third base at the same time. Ground ball to shortstop Campanera. Two down. Well, Blue Moon must have that sinker ball working. They're banging the ball in the ground. Duke Sims yesterday had a double and a triple in five times. Another fellow that finished the season with a sizzling bat. He wound up with the Tigers hitting 316. Four homers, 19 runs batted in. Long smash to deep center. Jackson floating back, waiting, and snags it for the out. Three up and three down in the first inning. No score with the A's coming to bat. Bert Campanaris walked once yesterday, scored a run, went hitless his other four times up. Base it by Campanaris. All right, now we'll keep our eyes on Campanaris. He led the American League with 52 stolen bases. Six times he's captured the American League base stealing title. And here's another good little table setter, Matty Alou. Hit 314 with the Cardinals, 281 with Oakland. And you notice late in the year how clubs will go to the other league and pick up players to aid them in a pennant drive. This man really helped Oakland. Fryman does not have a good move to first base. He moves quickly to the plate, however. There goes the runner. The strike. The throw. He's in there. <laughs> Left-handed pitcher. You see a loop bluffing, trying to hide the ball from the catcher. Sims got rid of the ball very quickly. A little bit of a high throw to Taylor covering the bag. Let's watch it from another angle. Cash holding him on. I can see Tanner waiting as long as possible to make the break. He just outran the ball. All that running around those infielders are doing because of Campaneris is taking just that fraction of a step or maybe two away from them being able to chase down a ball hit behind them or between them.
The A's fans love it. He's positioned perfectly. Very important. The way you place those infielders and outfielders, and they really had a Lou catalog. Joe Rudy, the most solid hitter on the A's team, batting 305. 19 homers this season and 75 runs batted in. The book on Rudy is to throw him a lot of change-ups and off-speed stuff, get him off stride, which Lolich did well yesterday, but Fryman doesn't have a really effective change of pace. Campaneros keeps them occupied. What other sport could a little man like Campaneros terrorize you as he's doing right now? That's right. There goes Campanaris. They're too late on him. He got a big jump that time. Big jump for him. He stole on the pitcher. Let's watch it again. There he goes. Sims throwing over the head of the right-handed hitting Rudy. What great speed he has. And sometimes, even when he doesn't get a good jump, Curdy will still outrun the ball to the bag. And it's a base hit to left. In the score. Campanaris, the A's lead, one to nothing. There's a case right there where with that infield playing in instead of back, because of Campanaris stealing the two bases, a ball got through. Rodriguez, the way he moves to his left, probably would have had a chance at getting the ball and saving the run had they been back. And that's why the Tigers say you have to keep Campanaris off the base. Reggie Jackson had two hits and five times up yesterday, both singles to the box. 265 hitter for the year, 25 homer, 75 RBIs. Strike to him as Ryman fed him the sidearm stuff. Sidearm curve, 0 and 2. Goes for the bad pitch and strikes out. Two down. First strike out for Ryman. Sal Bando hitting 236. Bando was kidding me yesterday about uh, having an Italian breakfast for good luck, but he said he told me today he did. He had eggs with pepperoni. <laughs> A one-two pitch. He's got him. Ball one to Norm Cash. Leading off in the second, Cash had a homer yesterday in three times. Sends a ground ball to Epstein at first, flips to Odom covering, one away. These A's pitchers are multi-talented. Jim Hunter, Kenny Holtzman, John Odom, Vida Blue can all run, they can hit, they can pitch. They're all around athletes who aid themselves another way besides just throwing the ball. Willie Horton wound up hitting 231 for the Tigers. Brown ball to short. Campanera scoops, fires, and he's got him under two down. I heard a while ago you were speaking of the versatility of some of the members of, the, of, the, of this A's pitching staff. Well, Odom yesterday went in the pinch run. He went on to steal second base on his own or started to. Epstein missed a bunt sign and dunked a little ball in the short left field that started that rally going to win the ball game. Jim Northrup hit 261. Eight homers, 42 runs batted in. Two down. But the ball player's call coming in over the top. There it is. Grounded to deep short. Campanaris throws. No. Northrup's on with an infield hit. He's the first Tiger base runner. Campy playing about up the middle for Northrup. Watch him get this throw off quickly with a lot on it. Too late, but he made a great effort trying to get Northrup. Tony Taylor, who's been platoon this year at second base, 
303 hitter with one homer, 20 RBIs. 36 years old, born in Cuba, lives now in Yeadon, Pennsylvania. His 15th year in the majors, knows how to play the game. Very smart ball player. Runner going. The throw. Right into the tag, goes north if he's out. Perfect throw by catcher Gene Tennis. Dick Green had the ball waiting for him. Here goes Northrop. Taylor tried to protect him, but it was almost a pitch out. Dick Green making an exceptional play, some a play that was pretty courageous. He could have gotten injured hanging in there to dig that ball out with a hard sliding Northrop, but they got him. No, it's no runs a hit and nobody left for the Tigers in the second. And at the end of an inning and a half, Oakland won, Detroit nothing. Yesterday's playoff games, both National and American League, the left-handers against left-handed pitchers were the hitting star. Oliver and Stargell for the Pirates. Epstein here for Oakland on base four times. Jackson on three times. First walk by Woody Fryman. Tennis peering very intently down to third base coach Irv Norin. Uh, I don't know if Dick Williams is going to try and bunt early. There's Norin. Try and move Epstein in the scoring position and then pinch hit for Green as he's done so often this year with his second baseman. Runner on first, nobody out, one to nothing, Oakland ahead. Fastball's over for a strike. Off speed curveball. One ball, two strikes to tennis. He blew that one by him. Dick Green looked to the dugout, expecting to be lifted for a pinch hitter, but they're going to let him back. That is the third strikeout for Fryman. The last three men have been retired and have gone down on strike. And here's Dick Green, the second baseman, coming to bat. As they fly ball to right, Kalon uh, coming over near the line. Is there, makes the catch, and the back to first will go Epstein. Green is out, that two down, one on the batter will be Odom. Now the set by Fryman, he pitches, there's a cut on the miss, he struck him out. And that is the fourth strikeout for Woody Fryman. No runs, no hits, no errors, a walk, one man left, that is the end of two in Oakland, Oakland one, Detroit nothing. Tony Taylor to see what he can do. There's a chopper hit down the first base side, picked up by the catcher Tennis. He throws to Epstein in time. One away. The catcher to the first baseman. Arrhenio Rodriguez will be the batter. He swings as a ground ball at the bando. He gloves it for the first. Got him. Two down. It's a, another ground ball. This one to Bando. Cuts it off in front of the shortstop. Campaneris fires to Epstein in the side out. Easily one, two, three in the Tiger third. At the end of two and a half innings in Oakland, the A's won Detroit Nothing. Well, here's the man who scored the game's only run, Bert Campaneris. He swings as a loop hit the left field of the game. Champion makes a big turn and stops at first base. Matty Alou left and the batting off field at the plate. Uh, Caponeris does not go. The pitch is swung on it wide at first. Glove by Cash. Showed him a thought up at shortstop for one. Relay back to Fireman. Gets by him. And they hit the coach, Jerry Adair. And stopping at first now is Alou. Here's Joe Rudy at bat now with a man on and a man out. Runner goes, the pitch is the first, cash goes to McCullough, they put the tag on the there, he's out, picks out first base. Simon to cash to McCullough, that's the pitcher to the first base from the shortstop. For the second out, it'll make it two down and nobody on. As a fly ball, deep right center, may be up the alley, it may be out of here, it is off the wall. Chase down by k -line. Rudy going around second now, holds with a long double off the fence. Here's Reggie Jackson batting now. Last ball hit on one up the cash. He makes the play unassisted. The inning's over. No runs, two hits, no errors. One man left at the end of three. Oakland one, Detroit nothing. Well, the 
leading the Tigers one to nothing. We're going to the fourth inning in the second game of the American League Championship Series. And here to bring us the action, Ray Lane. Okay, honey, thank you very much. And once again, hello, everybody. There's a fly ball to right field. And going back is Alou. He's under it now, moving to his right and makes the catch. So McAuliffe flies out to the right fielder, Matty Alou, one down. That'll bring up Al Kaline. There's a ground ball up the middle to center field of base hit. As Kaline chalks up the Tigers' second hit of the ball game. That'll bring up Duke Sims. Fly ball. Turn away center field. Reggie Jackson comes in, moves his right. Under it now, and the center fielder tucks it away. So Sims flies to center. Kaline hangs on at first base. Two down. That'll bring up Norman Cash. Three two pitch. Kaline goes. Line shot to right field base at Kaline around second. As the little comes up with the ball, throws it back into the infield, and a single for Cash and Kaline over to third. Tiger runners at first and third. Two out, the batter, Willie Horton. Curve ball is lifted in the air to right field. Matty Alou drops in. He's under it. Should make the play. And makes the catch. And Horton flies to right. That's all for the Tigers in the fourth. No run. Two hits. No errors. Two men left on base. And after three and a half innings of play, it's still open one. Tigers nothing. Here's Bando, he takes the first pitch in too close, ball one. A little pop out in the shallow right, K-line coming hard, he's there. He let up after he broke with a good start. One away. There is a superior defensive right fielder. He started out as a left fielder, and they moved him to center. Played center, I remember, as a kid a year or two, then they finally installed him permanently in right field, where he's been ever since. Mike Epstein walked his first time. Strike. Fouls it back. Out of there. Fastball. Oh, in his prime and lets it go. He can bring it. Five strikeouts for Woody Priman. He's walked one. And Gene Tennisup struck out swinging in the second inning. Smacks it into left field. Willie Horton comes on to pick it off. Three up and three down for the A's in the last of the fourth. At the end of four innings, it is the Oakland A's one and the Detroit Tigers nothing. You hear a lot of big figures thrown around around television. You see that little window there in the screen? That costs around $1,600. And it's installed to brighten the game for you televiewers. Three quarters of an inch thickness of quartz and glass replaces an old plexiglass square we used to use. And that, that's also an improved $10,000 lens that uh, takes that shot through the new quartz and glass window. And it brightens everything up for you. And we hope you're enjoying the game. And here's a bright guy now moving in for the fifth inning. Mr. Tony Kubek. Jimmy Northrup, Tony Taylor, and Aurelio Rodriguez fouled off by Northrup. Check swing, fouled off strike two. Change up, breaking ball gets Northrup. Jimmy going after a bad pitch in the dirt. Strikeout number one for Odom. And it brings up Tony Taylor. Playing Taylor a shade toward right field. Grounded up the middle, Dick Green playing up the middle, throws him out at first base for out number two. To bring up Aurelio Rodriguez. Change up from the side, grounded weakly to Bando at third, over to Epstein for the third out. No runs, no hits, no air, nobody left on for the Tigers. So in the middle of the fifth inning of play here in Oakland, it's Oakland one, Detroit nothing. And Dick Williams now starts his move with his second baseman. He's pinch hitting for Dick Green to lead off the last of the fifth in the number eight spot. George Hendrick will bat for him. And in the top of the sixth inning, we'll have a new defensive second baseman for the Oakland A's. Tony? George Hendrick, John Odom, and then Burt Campanaris, the leadoff batter to face Woody Fryman here in the last of the fifth. Hendrick for the season, four home runs, 15 RBIs with a, with a 182 batting average. He pinch hit yesterday and grounded out. One to nothing Oakland. 
breaking ball line for a base hit right by the lunging Aurelio Rodriguez. So the A's have the first man out of the fifth inning. Brings up John Odom, who's a pretty good hitter and a good bunter. This is the fourth time in five innings that the A's had their leadoff man get on. One and one the count with no outs. Hendrick on first base. He's going to bunt again. Sims out fast. No chance for a play at second, but he does get Odom at first base. Hendrick with good speed getting down into second. The A's have a runner on second, one out, and Campanaris up. And he's had two line drive base hits so far. Line drive base hit. Hendrick had a hole up to see what the ball was going to go through. The throw from K-Line, and Irv Norton holds Hendrick up. Hendrick could not get a jump off second base as he had to make sure the line drive base hit by Campanaris was over the head of Taylor, the second baseman. And Norm Cash, a good throw by K-Line, hit his cutoff, man. Cash cut the ball off so Campanaris on a throw to the plate wouldn't get down to second. And Brings up Matty Lou. And now a lot of action. There's Chris Zachary, the right-hander, starting to warm up hurriedly for Detroit. Here comes the left-hander, Fred Sherman. So Woody Fryman and the Tigers in trouble with one down. Hendrick on third, Campanaris on first, Matty Alou the hitter. Line drive, base hit, Hendrick will score. Campanaris is going to go to third base as K-Line gets the ball into the infield. So Alou drives in, run number two for the A's. Joe Rudy with one down. Campanaris on third, Alou on first base. Here comes Martin out now, Tony. He's trying to stall here. I believe he wants to get this right-hander, Zachary, ready and get him in here to pitch to Rudy. They haven't had too much time to loosen up as Sherman continues to throw along with Zachary. Duke Sims stalled around for a little while. Nestor Shylock, the home plate umpire, hurried it up. Now Martin out. So Billy Martin, the Tigers manager, has called for his right-hander, Chris Zachary. The Tigers outfield playing deep and about straight away for Joe Rudy. In the dirt, Campanaris is going to score. Alou will go into second base. So Zachary Wild pitches a runner home to make it three to nothing, Oakland. Sims tried his darnest to get in front of the ball and block it. The ball was way outside and low. Bounded off his shoulder. Three and one pitch to Rudy. Way outside, another wild pitch. Alou will go into third base as Rudy goes down to first with a base on balls and out pops Billy Martin. Well, these wild pitches have hurt. Now there are runners in first and third with one down. That man on third can score on a fly ball. Fred Sherman is coming on as Reggie Jackson, a left-handed batter, is due up next. Whoa, way inside. Really decked Reggie Jackson. Kyle will go to three and two. Sherman, obviously, with this situation, not intentionally throwing at Reggie Jackson. I had to throw a fastball by him with two strikes and two balls. Dick Williams looking on as his A's are threatening once again to score. Rudy not running. Base hit. Could be extra bases to left center field. Here comes a little Rudy. Roaring into third base, he's going to score. Here comes Jackson. He held up there out second. Now the ball gets by Rodriguez. Sherman backing up the play as Jackson comes diving into third base and he makes it. So Jackson will be given a double, two RBIs, and an error will be charged to someone. We'll have to find out who, Kurt. Well, 
Here's a rerun. Now, this is Reggie Jackson. They had him hung up. Nobody was covering second base. They couldn't get a throw there. The throw to third was backed up when it got away by the pitcher, Sherman. And look at Jackson, who was really psyched up for this series, take that swan dive in the third and beat it. Two more runs in. And the A's now have a 5 nothing lead, a runner on third, and still just one out. One ball, two strikes. Jackson on third. Bando the hitter. Sherman in relief for the Tigers. Good curveball gets Bando. So Bando strikes out for the second time. Bring up Mike Epstein, who has walked and also struck out once. Two down in the last of the fifth. The A's enjoying a five to nothing lead. Jackson down at third base. The A's have hit the ball hard this inning. Hendrick let it all off with a pinch hit single. Fly ball to center field. Northrup moving over. He waves Horton off for the third out. But the A's come up with four runs on four hits. One walk, one error on the Tigers' part. To score after five complete innings of play. Five to one. Defensive change now with the open A's. As Kubiak comes in and takes over the duties out of second base. And the Tigers will set it off with a pinch hitter. And Tom Haller, change up, hit on the ground, on to Epstein at first base, drop to one knee. And has it stepped on the bag, and that's all for Haller, one pitch. And he's out to the first baseman, out of system. So one away, that'll bring up Dick McCollum. Ground ball to the right of Epstein, he gloves it. Odom covering the bag, and steps on the bag inside. McCollum breaking his bat, and bounced it out. Odom coming back now with a two-one pitch. K-Line bounces it down to Bando on two hot third baseman half. It throws the first in time. K-Line is off third to first. Tigers with a second straight inning get on one, two, three. After five and a half innings of play, it's still open five Detroit nothing. One time pitcher at Arizona State, Larry McGraw, big right-handed pitcher with the Tigers coming on. Here's Gene Hennis, the catcher. Three. Fastball up the knees and tennis is caught lucky. That'll bring up Ted Kubiak for his first appearance at the plate this afternoon. Now the payoff pitch. Three and two pitch. It's popped up. Left side of the infield. McCollum moves back. Left center field grass. Under it makes the catch. So Kubiak drops the short. Two down. That'll bring up the pitcher, Blue Moon Over. Yesterday they had the gold uh, top and the white uh, uniform. Horton backs up. He's there. Makes the catch. Odom tagged it pretty good. And Willie got a good jump on it, moving back into his left. He made the play in deep left field. So the A's go down one, two, three. After six innings of play, open five. Detroit, nothing. After six innings of play, the Tigers trailing open five, nothing. The batter will be Duke Sim. And here's the fellow that's mostly in a hurry. Ernie Harwell. Thank you, Ray Lane. Here we go now. Odom has been tough. He's uh, retired the last seven Tiger batters in a row. Here's a cut of the men. He struck it out. That's the second strikeout for Odom. Here's a bombing ground to hit toward uh, Kubiak. We toss the first to Epstein, and it's an easy out. Two up and two away. The last nine Tigers have drawn down in a row. Here's Willie Horton stepping in. Wood is bounced to short. Hit a fly ball to right field. it. Alou, who is only two times at bat. He's open two for the afternoon. As they change up, popped in the air between third and home. Bando calling for it. Makes the catch in the side of the side. Fair ball by about a foot. Nothing across. Here come the eighth of the seventh. The score up and five to short nothing. face the top of the batting order now, Cappy Caponeris, and he's been the big man for the Oakland A's. Three singles and three trips, stole two bases in the first inning, scored the first run, he scored another run in the fifth inning, three for three for Bert Caponeris. 
Campanaris has had quite a day. Three hits, three times up. Stolen two bases, scored two runs. They're shorting up at the corners on him, and he is hit by a pitch ball. It's gonna be Look trouble. Out. That's Look gonna out. be trouble. He threw the bat. And here come both benches. Dick Williams trying to control Billy Martin. Look at Billy Martin there. Martin's a scrapper, you know. He's in a lot of fights in his career. That's John Rice. No, it isn't. One of the other umpires has Billy. He's after Campanaris for throwing the bat at his pitcher. Billy Martin is incensed, and Campanaris has every right to be mad also because they took away one of his most valuable assets if they hit him in a bad spot. It looked like right in the ankle. And somebody took that bat that Campanaris threw out at the pitcher and broke it in two. And look at Martin. Is he mad? Johnny Rice has got him now. John Flaherty. Both benches storming out of the dugouts and out of the bullpens. Now we're back to action. And Hiller's pitch is inside to Matty Alou. With Dal Maxville on first base. Nobody out. Last of the seventh. The A's leading five to nothing. Double play ball to Taylor. To McCullough for one. Back to the DP. Second to short to first. Taylor made double play. Two down. Nobody out. And Joe Rudy coming up. Campanaris was ejected for throwing his bat at the pitcher. The way he walked off the field, escorted by Joe Romo, the trainer, it was doubtful whether he could play anyway. He was limping very badly. That hit him right on his shin bone or on an ankle bone. That's one of those bruises that can hang on, Tony. You've, you've had some of those bone bruises. Take away his best asset. The speed of foot. Well, he was on base four times today and scored two runs. Line drive to Rodriguez to retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left but left. Nestor Shylock dusting off home plate has ejected Campanaris, ejected the Tiger pitcher, Legro, who hit him. Campanaris for throwing the bat at the pitcher, and Billy Martin is still fuming. He's been yelling out at the field, yelling to Mike Epstein, the Oakland first baseman. Jim Northrup. Takes ball one. Northrop has an infield hit and he struck out. We're in the eighth inning now. Blue Moon Odom has been pitching superbly. He's retired the last ten batters he's faced. A high fly to right center. Matty Alou. Jackson. Jackson says, I've got it. Waves Alou off and takes it. The double play combination again now for the A's is Max Villa at short, Kubiak at second. Tony Taylor, thrown out by the catchers, grounded out to second. Blue Moon Odom has never pitched a complete game against the Tigers. He's made 13 previous lifetime starts against them. Right now he's in the eighth inning with one out and a five run lead. Hit the band to a third. Two down. They just can't get a solid piece of the ball off Odom today. Changing speeds brilliantly. Both off his sinker ball, his fastball, and also that breaking pitch. Three little dinky singles. All the Tigers have had. Aurelio Rodriguez rounded the third twice. Another easy one hopper to Bando. That's all. Three up, three down. We're going to the last of the eighth inning. Oakland five, Detroit nothing. Reggie Jackson has a strike as delivered by John Hiller. Jackson has struck out, grounded out. He ripped the double to left in the fifth to knock in two runs. Curve for strike two. He's out. Curved him. One down in the last of the eighth inning. Sal Bando hitless in three times.
curved in for a strike, one and one. Tomorrow, Tony and I will be in Cincinnati at 3 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Cincinnati and Pittsburgh. A game three of the National League playoff. Fly ball to K-line, two away. And Mike Epstein's about it. Epstein has walked, struck out, fly out. Gene Tennis. Two up behind Epstein. There's a pop. And the catcher, Sims, handles it. Three up, three down. We're going to the top of the ninth inning with a score. Oakland five, Detroit nothing. The life of one of Craig Institute's own team is dramatically altered when he suffers a heart attack. Watch the bold ones. Tuesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern Time right here on NBC. Gates Brown is going to bat. That's Mike Hegan, who's replaced Mike Epstein at first base for the uh, A's. They now have three men in the infield that weren't in there when the game started. Maxville at short, Kubiak at second, and Hegan at first. Bandos, the old man at third. Gates Brown came up yesterday with runners on first and third as a pinch hitter. Nobody out and fouled out. Change up. Line drive to Kubiak. One down. Dick McCall up the batter. Ground ball down to Mike Hegan at first base. They're two down. Dan Odom now trying to nail down his final out. Our statistician. Able partner here, Alan Roth, with us all year in the last seven years on the game of the week. Our production stage manager has been Carl McCarthy. Al Kaline, the last Tiger left. Slow ball is inside, 1-0. and oh. Three and two to Kaline. He just threw his 100th pitch. That's very good. Anytime time you're around 100, 110 pitches in a game. Managers like that. 3-2 delivery. K-Line lost it to right field. The game should be over. It is Blue Moon Odom with a three-hit shutout. And now the Tigers must go home and win all three games to go to the World Series. The A's are in the driver's seat. Final score. The A's, five runs, eight hits, no errors. The Tigers, no runs, three hits, and one error. Coleman's first pitch is lying down the right field line for a base hit. It's going to be extra bases as the Lou heads for second to throw to K-line. He is safe at second with a double. The pitch. He walked him. He checked his swing on a low outside pitch. Maxwell had started for it and checked it in time. So the A's are threatening the Oakland left fielder. Matty will lose at second. But here's the pitch. Strike. He got it over. Well, he went to three and two on Maxwell and he walked him. Now he's gone to three and two. Here's the pitch. There go the runners. He struck him at third base. Whoa. And but uh, no mistakes. He struck him. Epstein went for a high pass of it all the time. There's a bouncing ball to right. This may be extra bases. Alou makes the turn, but he holds as Kaline hustles it back in. Holman ready. The pitch. He struck him. Alou had a stolen base. Aurelio was playing deep. You can see it. He had no chance at all to get him. In fact, he'd have been better off just to hold it. But he made the throw, and Brown made a good throw. Here's the pitch. Bouncing ball to second. Taylor bobbles it. Throws. 
He got him. Boy, well, it was close, but he got him. Here's the pitch. Struck him out. Threw the fast one by him. It was a bad pitch. Now, wait a minute. The first base umpire. So the 2 2 pitch. He struck him out. 3 1 pitch. Ball four. He lost it. The first walk off Holtzman. Tigers have around us one ball, no strikes. Ground ball through. That might be. Rudy is over digging up the ball. Three handle goes into second. Sliding for a double. Three one pitch to Horton. Outside ball four. The base hit with the Tiger dugout. The one one pitch. Ground ball through. Base hit. home run number two and the Tigers lead two to nothing. Oh, but we'll give you another look at it. Angel had declared himself a little early and he just couldn't reach that. Swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. It looked like a fastball call strike. The pitch to freehand. Here's a long drive, way back. Maybe it is. It's gone. Bill Freehand has just bumped one into the lower deck in left field. And the Tigers lead 3-0. Here's the 0-2 delivery. Call strike three. A slider at the letter. For Lolich. Two outs. And it'll be the top of the order. Matty Lou. The count one and two on tennis. Call strike three. Third strike out for Lolich, and it's the first time this afternoon. There's a bouncer to third. Rodriguez goes to second, and they've got Matty Alou. What a play. There's a long drive. It's made tie it up. It does. We got a tie ball game as Epstein hit a line drive into the right field seats. No doubt about it. He caught it on a line and hit the upper deck. And we got a 1 1 ball game. Watch it again. You can see as Mac is hung up. Bando putting the tag on him. The 1 0 pitch to Marquez is a fastball drilled a second underneath the glove of Tony Taylor in the right field for a base hit. And Marquez is down. Alou went on to third. It'll be a double for Alou going to third on the throw. Here's another look at freehand. Marquez colliding. Three one pitch to Kubiak. A fastball is lofted to shallow right. That might not score a run. If Kaline makes the catch, he does not. That will score the run as it falls in. Tigers had an opportunity to wrap this one up in the eighth inning, but couldn't get Dick McAuliffe home from third base with one out. He suffered a similar problem. Got twice and he's flying to left. 
curveball off the end of his bat. Fielded by Mc Rodriguez. The long throw is not in time. The ball gets past Cash. And Kubiak goes on to third. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball is laced to left. Northrop is going back. He makes the catch and the side is retired. How 1-0 pitch from Locker. Swung on. Base hit to right field. McCullough pulls. One strike pitch. Curveball is through for a base hit. McCulloch will have to hold at second base as Rudy comes up with the ball. Expect a lapper in one of these. Inside gets away. That'll move him up. Two count. The pitch. Ball four. So that out. Fouled everything up for the A's. It's a three to two ball game. Bases are still loaded. Nobody out. Listen to this crowd. Here it is. Ball four. That'll throw the tying run. Here. The count is one and oh. The pitch. Fastball. There she goes. It might be a big one. It's going. It's. Falling short, but that gets the run home, and the Tigers in a tremendous come from behind victory here this afternoon beat Oakland four to three, and this series is tied at two games each. Holy cow! Frank Howard again. Dick Krzyzewski went home the other night because of the illness of his father, and we're sorry to report that Dick's father passed away last night. Breaking pitch, ground ball toward the hole, base hit to Cole. Pitch that gets away from the center center. The runners move up. Down ball. Short stop. Maxfield makes the long throw to first. One scores. It's one to nothing. It is too low on four pitches. Reggie Jackson draws. Swing. Jackson is running and the throw is off the mark and nobody was really over there covering. Tate. Ball hit to right field. Jackson going back to tag up. Kaline is there. Jackson is going to make a run for it. Kaline throws with that good arm. It's cut off by Taylor as Jackson. Whoops. That hit his hand. That hit Mike's hand. That could be trouble for the A's. Looks like it's his first finger. And here's the play. Free end comes up throwing. Goes to second base with it. Tony Taylor comes in to cut off the throw and go back to the plate to try and get Jackson. And here's the collision again. And as you can see, Jackson beat the play, but as he slid, caught the left leg, the left shin guard of Bill Freehand, and I believe either his knee or his ankle. Left, you see. It's cold air. The call up in the hole. Long throw. Hendrick showing some speed, and a serve, and Cash is mad. And the pointing of Dom is all his. Here we see McCullough going to his right into the hole, comes up with the ball cleanly, and makes the throw. The ball is down low, you see Norm Cash stretching, and you see his foot there, it's up in the air. He's not on the base. High ball league, but I actually did low ball league. There's a drive to left field. Hendrick can fly. He's on his way around third. Sims is up with the play. The throw to the plate is there, and he is safe. It's two to one. Gene Tennis on deck. I'm sure today that Fryman's going to be a little bit more careful with FC than Lolich was. If he does go inside, it'll probably be bad inside. Yesterday, after Lolich had pitched FC outside all day, thrown him a lot of breaking stuff and gotten him out, he looked like he tried to get the fastball in on him, didn't get it in enough, and Mike tied that ball game with a home run. Today, Woody making sure that the fastball's in on him actually hit Epstein with it the last time up. 1-1, one, one, that's a foul tip. 1-2. and two. Nick Williams. And his team jumped off to a 2 0 And one man left. We go to the last of the fourth, and now the A's lead the Tigers 2-1. to one. We're count of 2-0 oh in the batter's box, and Northrop on at first, and Billy Martin looking on. Who isn't? We all are.
Bounding ball to Bando. Fair territory. Sal puts it over on one hop to Epstein, and Odom is out of it. No runs, no hits, no errors, and Northrop left at first base. We've gone through four full innings of play in this deciding championship game at Tiger Stadium. Oakland leads it two to one. It's right in, ready to fire, but that's up high ball one. Jim, I think uh, little things like that are much more important on a hot day. I don't think uh, it'll be too tough on Fryman today. There's uh, no chance of him being over perspired or anything. Round ball. This will be Epstein's play all by himself and has it. And Odom has a one, two, three inning. The runs, hits, or errors. We've gone through the first five innings of play at Tiger Stadium in Detroit in the fifth game for the American League Championship. Two to one, Oakland. In a moment, the Oakland six. But now we pause for station identification. It's a ghost story when the wish at a wishing well is for a murder. Tomorrow night at 9, 8 central time. Center field, Northrop. Doesn't have moved too far for this one and has it. No run, one hit, no errors, and Bando left on first base. We go to the last of the six, two to one open. Fouled off again. Taylor fouled off a half a dozen or so pitches. Last time up, Carey blew to a 3 2 count and then struck out of a high fastball out of the strike zone. It's 2 2 now. Wide center field. Hendrick going back. Oakland is the American League championship team. Speak more than anything that we can say. The Oakland Athletics, the A's of the team, has not won a pennant since 1931. Led two games to none. Came to Detroit, shocked by Joe Coleman in a tenth inning comeback yesterday. Get the run today, and are they thrilled as they go to the dressing room? And so Oakland will open against Cincinnati at 12:30 Eastern Time on Saturday afternoon. Hero, Blue Moon Odom, who held him to an unearned run for five innings. Hero, Bida Blue, who saved the game for him. Hero, Gene Tennis, who had been 0 for 15 and guilty of an error yesterday in the 10th and the pass ball today, but who drove in the go-ahead run. There are many heroes, and it's been a long season for the Oakland Athletics, but they've done it. They have won the American League Championship. For Detroit, well, I'm sure the Tigers, and I know their fans, are disappointed. But what a job they did in battling both Boston and Baltimore to clinch on the next of the last day of the season the Eastern title. And what a job they did to be down two games to done. It's over. It's done with. Uh, you're sorry. You're such a big factor for this ball club. I hope you get a chance to play in the World Series. I also... Sandy, I'll be, I'll be so, you know, so excited today. I don't know what to say. And I'm sorry what happened over. And thank you, you know, for telling, coming here. I'm Kevin, so, I don't know what to say. Kevin, I know so you're excited. sorry. I know you're sorry. I think everybody connected with baseball is sorry that it happened. Jim, let's go back upstairs. All right, Sandy, and we'll repeat again. The Oakland Athletics have won their first pennant. They went to Oakland in 1968. Prior to that, back to 1955, they were in Kansas City. And before that in Philadelphia, and you have to stretch way back in your memories or the record books to see that the last time the A's won a pennant was in 1931, their third consecutive in the days of Jimmy Fox, Al Simmons, and Lefty Grove. Many things happened here today. Many heroes throughout the playoff championships. Our congratulations to Billy Martin and the Detroit Tigers again with that sensational run and pressure-packed finish in the American League East. Again, to come back as they did in the playoff championships, especially in the 10th inning yesterday when they were down by two. But today belongs to Oakland. They are the American League champions with the final score in the fifth game. Oakland two, Detroit one. So this is Jim Simpson, along with Sandy Koufax, saying goodbye from Tiger Stadium in Detroit, Michigan.
Game five was brought to you by your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Introducing Plymouth Satellite for 1973. Built to be seen, not heard. And by Gillette, maker of the Gillette Track 2 two-bladed shaving system. Remember the 1972 World Series begins this Saturday afternoon in Cincinnati, Ohio. It'll be Oakland and the Reds. Coverage begins at 12.30 Eastern Time with World Series Report with Joe Garagiola. Join us right here live and in color on NBC.